I think for guys, I think the physical aspect is probably number one in the list. You gotta, you gotta be attracted to the female or the girl or whoever you're attracted to um, to start making that connection. Most of the time, you're not gonna approach a girl with the interest of dating somebody if you're not physically attracted to them. So that's got to be it. So the physical is number one. Mm-hmm. There are instances where people make a friendship where the friendship and the chemistry that they obtain from it is takes that number one spot because they're maybe not physically attracted to somebody, but that other person is like, you know, like somebody that you can have a fun time with. A fun time with, but you're not necessarily like physically. So, do you attracted think those them. relationships would work? Do you think those relationships last, or do you think at the end of the day, if you're not physically attracted to somebody, it's just not going to work? I think that the relationship can work, but if there's not, always going to be that want and desire for somebody that's physically attractive I think that's so crazy yeah. I feel like that's a lot more in guys though right I feel like girls don't really care girls don't settle for guys I've heard of a bunch of girls that are dating ugly guys no that's why right. girls can deal more with like oh. unattractive guys what would you do if like I get but yeah I <laughs> you and I are way too deep like, no, if I lost Lay, I wouldn't expect you to leave me. No. But... Hopefully. No, I... <laughs> no. I wouldn't leave you because I fell in love with the way you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like it, I said, by I now, wouldn't be malagradecida. We're way past that. But you wouldn't have dated me if I didn't please your... Like the things you like in a girl. I don't think we would have dated, but that's 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 the beginning of it. It wouldn't be as consequential if, if two weeks into a relationship, I'm like, oh no, whatever. Uh-huh. Like by this point, so many years now, we're so invested in each other that the physical aspect of things, although I definitely mm-hmm. enjoy looking at you. But why, why do you think guys cheat? Like you hear all these stories about like girls being pretty, dolly lola doesn't cheat. Piensas? Like, do you think it's the type of guy? Do you think, like, what do you think about it? Like, I'm curious what guys think about this it's stuff. It's definitely values. A lot of people don't have values. Uh, so is there temptation, but your values stop you or what? There is always something. Somebody who has values always has their conscience, like, on so you don't put yourself in situations where there will be temptation. You don't put yourself in situations where somebody else is looking to you know, potentially get with you or whatever. Mm-hmm. So somebody that doesn't have the same values as me might want to or might not see it as such a big deal because they don't mm-hmm. share those values with me. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I think guys cheat because they're losers. Just kidding. <laughs> I think, I honestly think guys, most of the time, they cheat because they're either sick in the head, like there's no cure, no matter how pretty the girl is, or because there's no consequence, or because maybe the woman they're married to isn't their type got into the wrong relationship mm-hmm. I feel like there's women that are really pretty but oh they're not really feminine mm-hmm. uh, so the the guys just are just not attracted to them and then they end up going with like a really feminine woman I don't know to be honest but then I know a lot of stories about guys that cheat with like horrible looking girls so it just depends I think, on the I think guy it just goes back to the values uh, yeah honestly it just depends on the guy get them the runaways mm-hmm. 